Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Dylan McLemore. I'm at the University of Central Arkansas, and I'm here at ICA talking about perceptual media effects, about how partisans look at the same piece of information and get completely different ideas of what that message is. There's something called biased assimilation, and then something called hostile media perception. One of those says that when you look at a message, you try to make it more like what you already agree with, so you can absorb it into your body of knowledge. Hostile media perception says when you see that message, you immediately push it away. You say, I want nothing to do with this, it's the enemy. And so I'm trying to figure out how those two can coexist and if we can work towards a model of predicting which way you're moving, assimilation or contrast. So I've done a little bit of experimental research based on this. That's not what I'm here to present, but I've done it before. Uh, and, and basically what I've found is that there, there is a tendency to do both. And a lot of that tends to be what social identity becomes salient to you. Uh, for instance, I did a study about religion and politics. Uh, and if you are highly religious, and the re issue is also highly religious, uh, you tend to want to assimilate things into your religious identity. Whereas in politics, we've got a lot more toxic atmosphere in politics, a lot more of us versus them going on, and there's a lot more of a tendency to push away when you see a message that doesn't fit with your political views. So the reason that I started doing this sort of research is because of the atmosphere that you look at. We've got to find out how to reach people. Uh, media literacy is something that's really important to me. So if we can find a way to help people understand what a quality media source is and to be aware of our biases, that we all have them. I, I study this stuff and I have biases I have to watch out for when I'm consuming media messages. But if we can become more aware of those and figure out ways both on the receiver side and as journalists how to form messages that can confront some of those biases we know we're going to face, then, then maybe that will help us, hopefully, maybe it'll help us become a more informed uh, democracy.